April 19, 2015, we have a top general in Europe professing that, uh, or making statements that uh, suggest that he would be in favor of an arms race with Russia. This article published today, U.S. Army commander in Europe says Russia is a real threat, urging NATO to stay uh, united. The alliance is not interested in a fair fight with anyone and wants to have overmatch in all systems, Lieutenant General Frederick Ben Hodges believes. There is a Russian threat, Hodges told the Telegraph, maintaining that Russia is involved in ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine. The key objective for NATO is not to let the Russian outreach its, it in terms of capabilities, the general said. We are not interested in a fair fight with anyone, General Hodges stated. We want to have overmatch in all systems. I don't think that we've fallen behind, but Russia has closed the gap in certain capabilities. We don't want them to close the gap. The best insurance we have against the showdown is that NATO stands together, he said, pointing to the recent moves by traditional neutral Sweden and Finland to cooperate more closely on defense with NATO. Moscow has expressed special concern over Finnish and Swedish moves toward the alliance, viewing it as a threat armed against Russia. Contrary to the past years, Northern European military cooperation has now positioned itself against Russia. Hodges also said the U.S. expects its allies to contribute financially to the security umbrella provided by NATO, the NATO alliance as its member states have been failing to allocate 2% of every member nation's GDP to the NATO budget. I think the question for each country to ask is, are they security consumers? Are they security consumers or security providers, the general demanded? Do they bring capabilities to the alliance needs? However, the general does not believe that the world is on the brink of another Cold War, saying that the only thing uh, this this different now is the mindset about the security in the region. This is something to watch. Just another development in the tension between the United States and NATO and Russia. Uh, we could be on the wink, uh, brink of a uh, confrontation. Just something to keep an eye on. And uh, thanks for watching.